Isn't the situation much like the church in the West today? The scourge, the flood, could be a neo-Marxist or globalist or anti-Christian worldview that seeks to overwhelm the church. Our glorious president has declared Resurrection Sunday of all days to the Transsexual Visibility Day just recently. Oh, and the Christians are up in arms, at least on Facebook. But instead of turning to God, instead of cleansing our own hearts, instead of falling on our knees and examining our own track record, our own hearts, our own sin. I've said this during COVID already, when everybody presented himself as this great warrior against an oppressive government. Who puts governments in place? And now is the time of reckoning, and these idiots have still not learned, and they now go after the pastors who have bowed under the governments instead of falling on their knees once and repenting for their sin. And the church just keeps going, 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 defy tyrants. We are the greatest tyrants. Because we seek to even stand against the judgment and the chastisement of the Lord. When will we humble ourselves? When will we finally fall on our knees? When will we let go of our conniving, our strategizing, and ask ourselves, Lord, where have we, as this wonderful Orthodox Reformed Church, sinned? Where have we lost the way? I never hear it. Oh, no. We battle against each other. Should we have resurrection services? Should we, should we talk about Christmas? Oh, Christian nationalism, that's the latest thing. Is Christ king or is he not? And we outdo each other in debates, and one is smarter than the other. And our young men, they become all intellectuals. But what I do not see is brokenheartedness. How long? How long can we go on like that? How hard must God beat us until we fall on our knees? How long, I ask you, people of God? No, we have become experts in victimology. Oh, we have become victims of tyrants. Everybody's a tyrant left and right. And we never humble ourselves. Never. Never. 